The LDC5 conference being held in Qatar will adopt the Doha political declaration by the end of the event. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim has met Pakistani Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif. Meanwhile, Cristiano Ronaldo sets an entire plane's worth of supplies to Turkey and Syria. And finally, two Qatari clubs are all set to participate in the King Salman Cup. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. The 5th United Nations Conference on the Least Developed Countries in Qatar will see the adoption of the Doha political declaration by the end of the week-long event. The adoption of the declaration will reinforce the Doha program of action, an agreement aimed at helping least developed countries prosper. The DPOA, which was adopted last year, is an agreement aimed at bringing 46 of the most vulnerable countries under global spotlight. For the entire report, head over to our website. Pakistan's Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif expressed his gratitude to Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani in a meeting between the two leaders on the sidelines of the ongoing LDC5 conference in Doha. The Pakistani leader thanked Qatar for its continued support and development efforts in his country. The two leaders also held talks on a range of issues of mutual interest and discussed ways on how to further enhance the cooperation between the brotherly nations. Now, Portuguese megastar Cristiano Ronaldo has sent a plane full of care packages to earthquake victims in both Syria and Turkey. The footballer, who now plies his trade in Saudi Arabia with Al Nasser, paid for tents, food packages, household supplies, as well as medical supplies, among other things. As per Spanish outlet Marsa, the donation is valued at $350,000. And finally, Qatari football clubs El Sed and Qatar Sports Club are officially set to take part in a rebranded King Salman Club Cup. 37 teams from Asia and Africa will compete in the event, with the finals hosted by Saudi Arabia in the cities of Abha, Al Baha, and Taifa. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.